sababu hatuongei ukabila, hatuongei dini, hatuongei kiwango, hatuongei nani mkubwa ama mdogo, mzee ama kijana, sisi wote tumekubaliana and it is the best consensus we can have as a nation. Na niyo njia ambayo itatusaidia kuokoa taifa letu kutoka janga la madeni. Dawa ya madeni ni sisi kulipa ushuru na kusimamia maendeleo ya taifa letu tukitumia pesa zetu mpaka tufike mahali pale badala ya kukopa tutakuwa tunakopesha watu wengine. That is the trajectory we want to go. Ile kitu pia nimeambia watu wa KRA ni kwamba kila mkenya apatue nafasi ya kulipa bila ya kushurutishwa, bila ya kuangaishwa, kila mtu atapatua nafasi. Hata tumeambia wale eh, government agencies, kuna wengine kampuni ama eh, idara za serikali badala ya kulipa ushuru wamepeleka KRA kotini tumewaambia wachana na kotini endeni mfanye mazungumzo na KRA mutoe mpango na taratibu ya kule ya kulipa ushuru polepole pole. tuache kusumbua na kotini kwa sababu mawakili ndio wanapata pesa na serikali inapoteza so we are asking and in fact there will be a circular that all government agencies cannot take care to court. If there is a challenge, let there be discussions between the various agencies with care, sort out issues out of court. We cannot use public money to go to court so that we stop paying taxes that we support public entities. We have to be united and seamless and organized. So haya ni mambo tutashirikiana pamoja na tutatembea na ini hiyo pamoja na mimi naamini na ya kwamba Mungu atatusaidia. Asanteni sana kwa kutukaribisha hapa MCC. Tumefurahi sana kuwa kati yenu. Yale mambo mengine na mimi pia nitafanya ka investment kiasi uh, unajua, uh, unajua mtu ukiwa hasla uweze kusahau kufanya maneno. So <laughs> tutapangana vile tutasaidiana pamoja na nyinyi na hawa viongozi